this is Nerf Show Com Mods. Today we're going to be discussing Nerf terminology. Now a lot of people have had issues with arguments with us about the terms Nerf uses. Um, and we're going to go over those with you right now and clear things up. Okay, so first of all, Nerf. I've researched Nerf a lot and the best definition I could find for it was non-expanding recreational foam. Now that might not be the actual definition, but that's the closest I could find. So the first thing we're going to talk about here is um, caulking. Now a lot of people would consider it priming here, watch. This would be considered priming the gun if, with real guns. That is, but with Nerf, that is caulking the gun. If you look on any Nerf manual, it will say to caulk the gun, go back to the bolt or handle. So it is caulking in Nerf's terminology. It's not it's not priming. Second, a huge thing in that people complain about is the difference between clips or clips and magazines. Now, Nerf calls all of them clips. They use the right term for the belt with the EBF rifle, but these um, bottom loading are normally considered magazines, but Nerf calls them clips, and you'll see in the manuals it will say um, to load the clip, and also CS stands for clip system. So they are considered clips by Nerf's terminology, but I would myself consider them magazines, and I would consider this a clip because the gun loads it itself. One thing that I really like about um, Nerf is the fact that they call uh, Maverick, they call this here the barrel. And they call this here the barrel. And the same in the Spectre and all of the rifles that have barrels or pistols that have barrels. That is ridiculous. It's actually supposed to be called the cylinder. The barrel of the gun is this piece here where the dart travels to. The barrel of the gun will be considered for this part here. This here. The barrel of the gun is here. But Nerf gets that wrong, and it's very quite annoying, and they won't fix it. And it's called a cylinder. They should call it a cylinder. Next thing is um, a piece uh, in a modification we did, I believe. In a rifle, this back piece is supposedly called a plunger, the piece that moves back and forth. I'm pretty sure it's true, but I haven't done all my, uh, I haven't looked that up. Um, it sounds right, though. So that is a plunger there. And now, the f final uh, parts terminology would be the spinning gears on the barricade. Now, we called this in the barricade review, we called these the spinning gears. They're actually called flywheels. And I've, I've looked it up, and yes, they are called flywheels. And, um, sorry. Okay, so next we're just going to go into simple terminology. CS guns stands for clip system guns. This clip system, which is why we call them clips instead of magazines. Um, the ECS, as in Stampy, which we don't have here right now, is called is stands for the electronic clip system or electric clip system. EBF, electronic belt feeder, or electric belt feeder. AS, would be considered air system, and that makes sense. Um, Rev, there's there's a big difference with these. There's um, Rev, R E V, and R V, and they're both revolvers, as you see here. But this one's called R V, and this one's called Rev. And I know this one stands for revolver, but this one either s stands for revolver or revving gun. Revving, like, you know, Rev. Another nerf terminology there is, is the SBD, which is um, something uh, we here at Nerf SOCOM made. It's actually really easy, so I wouldn't say we invented it, but we did make them. It's called Silent But Deadly. You see I got a nice little silencer mod here, which was really easy. Okay, well that's the end of the Nerf SOCOM nerf terminology video. Um, if we've covered something you um, disagreed with or didn't cover something, please comment and we may add something to the description. Um, that's all. Thanks for watching.